it shouldn't be this hard. I mean, as I wrote some notes and I said, I'm used to going to the dentist. If you got an issue, you have an exam. You know, they they explain what the problem is. They talk about you know what's what it's going to take to to get that fixed, and then you start scheduling and talking about you know the fees. It's not this whole ridiculous process, and it's just. It is frustrating, and it is frustrating for a parent when you see your child in pain. Like I said, my child is nine, and um, she doesn't really understand what's going on, but she knows her tooth hurts, and she'll tell me, you know, Mommy, my tooth hurts. And all I can say is, Baby, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. I mean, you know, it just break, it broke my heart all last year when I couldn't take her to the dentist. Keith Yuckercaldi's daughter, nine-year-old Simone, who suffers from cerebral palsy, has been waiting for over six months to have a painful cavity fixed. 18-year-old Stephanie Erickson suffered with a painful broken tooth for years while her mother desperately tried dental offices to take care of her. She was crying. I mean, she, it was so painful that she had to miss school because of it. Um, she got behind in school because of it. Both Keithia Kirkaldi and Elisa Erickson testified at the Assembly Select Committee on Health Care Workforce and Access to Care, chaired by Dr. Richard Pan. A few days before, Assemblymember Pan, joined by several Sacramento County health and policy leaders, declared a pediatric dental care emergency for the region. This tragedy has led to pain and suffering for thousands of children and has wasted taxpayer dollars. And the tragedy is Sacramento's geographic managed care pilot program for dentistry, for Denical. And the time has come for critical oversight and reform. The program, known as Geographic Managed Care, started in 1994 as a pilot program and Sacramento County was the testing ground for a new model of delivering dental care for poor children. The goal was a system that would control costs and improve children's ability to see a dentist. A critical report in 2010 by the Sacramento First Five Commission, which promotes early childhood development, stated that under the so-called pilot program, access to dental services for many children remains an elusive health care benefit. It has been a disaster here in Sacramento. Reports have shown that payments from the state are being made, but care is not being provided. Sacramento is often dead last in the state in terms of kids seeing the dentist. Because her daughter Stephanie could not see a dentist, Elisa Erickson remembers having to give Stephanie her own pain medication prescribed for her arthritis. You have to understand when this is going on every night for months, I mean it's awful as a mother knowing that your child's in pain there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Because when I took her to the doctor, the doctor said we can't prescribe pain medication for her teeth, you have to go to the dentist. In his job as a pediatrician, Dr. Pan remembers hearing many more stories like that. And I shared the frustration of families whose child's care was either delayed or never received. What I, I saw what happened when a child did not receive proper dental care. They have tooth decay, constant pain of infection, this pain distracts them from school, the infections can suddenly spread to other parts of the body, then requiring more medical care or visits to the emergency room. Now is a time for the pain to end. Elected and public health leaders are today declaring a pediatric dental emergency. We call on the Department of Health Care Services to immediately allow children to opt out of Sacramento's failed geographic managed care and to have ac direct access to dentists. Our children must have direct access to dental profession professionals until proper reforms and oversight can be implemented. So we're still waiting. I mean, as of yesterday, I am still trying to get that paperwork from the primary care physician over to the dental insurance company. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.